Mr. Ngatia, Kenyans have just learned about the death of Otieno Kajuan. The post-mortem report is out, and they have said that he died of, uh, you know, heart problems. What is your view, or the view of the Kenya Red Alliance? Thank you very much. First and foremost, is to send our condolences to the family. We wish them to recover. It's a hard hit. Whatever happened is really hard for a family losing the breadwinner or their loved ones or the head of the family. Secondly, we as a political movement, we question uh, the pathologist answer or findings which sounds for play because we cannot buy it like for instance how could he the pathologist mr what do you call this jack johansen or dual come with a very questionable solution that Beret Kajuan died had broken ribs. Even if the man had accident three or four days ago, how could he go on his daily duty or daily with broken ribs? Second, what causes a stomach erosion is only chemical. Like poisoning, there is no explanation and we question, we don't buy the rubbish, it's hogwash. We know this doctor, uh, before the case of Motola Kironso, he came with the same nonsense because the man is a loyal dog of Kebu Mafia, the ruling class Mafia, and above all, why should the family Kajuan failed to come with the pathologist who should have represented the family? What about the ODM cadres like Orengo? Orengo is there, my friend Orengo. What happened to you since I met, met you in Tanzania? Where you are struggling, you are in the front line. What has become of you? You should not keep quiet. You should not buy rubbish because we think, Kajuan, there is a government hand to kill. Kajuan was killed or Kajuan was poisoned. Because poisoning Kajuan, there is a great war between the ruling class, fans, and the ODM fighting Laila Odega. And if you kill Raya Odinga's right hand man, you are weakening him. Look today, nobody is talking about a referendum because the ruling class is spending millions by buying court leaders and court agents. Now, ODM is lacking focus. ODM is almost definitive because of working with the traitors. I think the last time we, we, we met with some of the Yalitas, we told them exactly, do not accept. You better work alone, but do not allow traitors in the party. Most are very dangerous. Remember even during Mao Mao, for instance, when General China was arrested and the Kemadi was killed. The whole Mau Mau movement collapsed. So ODM must wake up and they even change the tactics. First and foremost, we don't even believe in going to election of 2017 with your Uru. You are going to lose miserably unless you change the tactics. Why don't you refer to 
have the struggle. So, find out who is killing your lieutenants. Otherwise, we believe Mr. Kajwami and the others are going to die. There is, the war is going on. This is very serious. The war is on between ODM or court and the ruling class thugs. Thank you.